Okay, here's my nice cold butter square. You can kind of still see the seams where I smushed it all together. I hope that's okay. I hope it stays in one piece. So the way the recipe suggested is to lay this out diagonally and just fold the corners over for good coverage. And they said you can pool if you need to. It smells nice. Does butter it? smells good. Fresh butter. Hmm. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Our math skills are intact. Okay. So now you have a so dough have, wrap package of butter. Yes. And this is, it was supposed to end up in an eight inch square for the original recipe, but since this is a half, this is about a four inch square. So now I'm going to, um, I don't remember actually if I was supposed to turn it over. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to smush this down. So now I'm going to roll this into a rectangle that's about three times as long as this. So about uh, 12 inches, I guess. Okay, so this, maybe about two thirds of this length. As so once again, the theory is basically that you've got thin layers of dough and butter and dough and butter. And so this gives you two layers of dough with a layer of butter in between. And you're just going to keep folding it, rolling it, folding it, rolling it. Yeah, well this is the last time I'm going to fold it like this. And from here on out, it's going to be folded like a letter, which is what I remember the last time. A letter like in thirds, you mean? In, in thirds, exactly. And then, well, we'll get to that when we get to it. And you're going to chill it between each fold, basically. Yes. Uh, I believe actually the, this recipe you do two turns at a time. So I'll roll this into the long rectangle and then um, fold it into thirds, roll that rectangle, fold that into thirds, and then chill it. But this is one of those things where the important thing is to keep it cold. So if the kitchen were hot, then. Um, or if it were taking too long and you started to see butter oozing through the dough, and you would just stick it in the fridge before working with it again. But this kitchen's pretty cool, so I think we'll be fine doing two turns at a time. Now the seams have rolled out already, but mm -hmm. it seems like it's actually pretty challenging for you to, to press this out. Yeah, it's a firm, it's firm butter, but you want the butter to be pretty... Um, pretty cold. I, I guess I could be, I could use a little more elbow grease. I feel like that butter might have broken a little there. Yeah, it kind of looks like Doesn't it might it look like there's a, um, yeah. Which is okay, right? I mean. Well, I'd like the coverage to be even. Well, you're going to be folding it anyway, folding it so, so at some point as you roll it out, like, you will compensate for those splits. Yeah. There, the butter can be too cold, you know, it can be too hard to work with and maybe makes it more, um, what's the word, you know, um, susceptible to cracking. What's the word I'm looking Brittle. for? Brittle. Brittle, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a little gap right there. Maybe if you turn it over. That's interesting. I can try that. Pastry. Scraper, a bench scraper would come in handy. Here. Do you need more flour on the? Uh, looks like you need some more flour. Huh? Yeah. Maybe dust the the board as well. Yeah. There's some dough down there. My hands are usually pretty warm, but right now they're cold, so it's a good thing. Yeah, that's, that was a good plan. There do seem to be these ends, though, from the seams that probably don't have much butter in them. I kind of want to trim them or something. Well, that's interesting. So when you do it in thirds, 
you know, you're going to get them in the middle. Like, I think it'll, it'll compensate. Yeah, I hope so. At some point, hopefully there will be, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. At some point there will be butter in between everything. But yeah, you're right. Like I am noticing there's, if you look more closely, you can see that. Little gaps here and there. I'm not actually even seeing the gaps, but I'm noticing like you have this, like an inch hanging. Yeah, over right, exactly. Like I'm very tempted, but I'm going to just have there, faith. There's nothing you can do about that because you had, like the butter was an inch thick. And yeah, so you have, have pretty some. high walls. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we want those little... But this is nearing 12, and I'm trying to envision this actually as wrapping a tenderloin. Do you think this will wrap a tenderloin? It's well, it depends wider, on how course. wide it is, yeah. yeah I mean, it, I think once the puff pastry is done, once we've done enough turns, you're supposed to roll it out no thinner than one eighth, but more standard is one quarter, which I think is what the welling recipe calls mm -hmm, for. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is already, though, a little uh, less than half. It's a little less than so half, I think yeah. there's a little room to grow, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, this is looking like 12. I just want to make this more of a rectangle is the thing. If you were really anal, you could probably just cut off the ends. I guess, but then you lose dough. You do lose dough. So I don't want to do that. Maybe if I sort of well, anyway. So you can do one fold and roll it out again before chilling? Yeah, I am. Let me see if I am actually at twelve. I'm a little over twelve. Alright, well I guess I'll fold. So you're gonna fold it like a letter? I'm gonna fold it like a letter. Try to be even. Looks nice. And if I recall, I think the folded seam is supposed to be this way, actually, like a book. The last fold. Okay. So, on the left side, that worked out. And so I'm going to roll this again now. So I've turned it 90 degrees. So now you have three layers of butter. Yep. And you're going to do this two more times, you said, or just one more time? This, so this is a double turn. So this is two turns. And a classic puff pastry apparently gets this six turns. So this six is, turns. Yeah, Whoa. so this is going to be the first step, the first of three steps, three double turns. It's a lot of layers. It's supposed to be a hundred, something like that, or hundreds. I would uh, I would do the calculation, but since this is on on record, do it and make sure it's right, and then throw it off haphazardly in the next segment. As if you just did it off the cuff. Exactly. Sounds good. This is not quite the perfect rectangle I was hoping for. It still has a pleasing shape. Yeah. Looks good. Epistolary pastry. What's epistolary? Related to letters. Jessica showing off her vocabulary. Just my love of letters. That rolled out pretty quickly again. Yeah, and the butter feels good. It feels cool still. None of it's oozing out. It seems to be distributing. But I can you can see this is definitely more pastry than butter, so this is definitely those edges that didn't get the butter in the in the initial oh. Oh, that side is definitely clumsier. Well, the more you fold, the more it'll all even out in the end. Yeah. I think actually this butter might be coming through, but the blogger said that happened to her and it seemed to be okay. Ideally, I think you want that pastry covering it. 
I wish some of this were over that. Yeah, you can see the butter peeking through portions of it. Not oozing so much as just exposed. Yeah, I mean, they say it's still cold, which is why it's not oozing. Yeah. So are you going to, when you chill oh, it again? You no, know, I seem to remember actually reading that you're supposed to roll in one direction only. So yeah. I've broken that rule. Well, you could do it for the next layers. Yeah. It's a good tip, though. We'll see if it makes a difference. I want to roll this way to even it out. I'm going to do it. So you're going to fold it and then chill it, or are you going to... Yes. Okay. I gotta do this for the other one too. All right. We will not do that on the view. Okay. So one more fold, and then we'll put that in the fridge. Yep. Fold it over once. Fold it over twice. Wrap this up, and we'll stick it in the fridge. Okay.